Let's do this. The Prisoner! Let's do this. As you can see, this will be the new location for my fragrance reviews on the videos and then on the shorts will be my food features and at the same time with my singing. But on the main videos, I will still continue to review fragrances for your viewing pleasure. Today's fragrance review is from the House of Latafa. It is a cheapy alert. It is Anna Abiyend Rouge 60ml Woody Parfum Concentration. Ching. Anna Abiyad Rouge, released 2016, with the top notes of bitter almond and saffron. And then the middle notes is cedarwood and jasmine, with a base of amber green, musks, and woods. Yo, what is my impression? But first, let's check the cup and also the sprayer. Cup is simple, plastic, and loose. Sprayer, just a short burst, but it works. Anna Abiyad Rouge acts like an eau de cologne on my skin. I'm just gonna be straightforward with my impression. It is very light and mild, but still detectable. This has a beautiful beginning. Just once the alcohol dissipates, it is quite scattered and less structured upon initial, but give it like about five minutes. It's gonna form into a beautiful sweet concoction with soft florals and spices coming from the saffron. And the sweetness is kinda like a cotton candy-ish, sugar candy that I think is coming from the almonds. I just want to inform you that I can smell a soft and a weak vibe of this band-aid or dental clinic kind or PVC plastic industrial kind, but it's just a quick impression. And after that, after three minutes, it brings out its beautiful aroma that is, as I've said, reminds me of a formulation under Woody Cologne. It is not abysmal, it is not overpowering even on the initial. It is like you're using an Eau de Cologne perfume uh, similar to the Jo Malone fragrances. Yo, given 10 to 15 minutes after, the smell of Anna Biedruj becomes more rounded, becomes more pleasant. It is not as masterfully blended and well refined in comparison with the high end niche uh, Maison Francis Kirkjohn's Baccarat Rouge 540. Yet, for the price, bang for your buck. This will really work if you're looking for a fragrance that has the impression, kind of like 75% impression similar to the Baccarat Rouge 540 and it is really similar to the Joe Malone fragrances when it comes to performance. It's quite linear on my skin. What you can smell is simply the cotton candy spices and woods mixed with an impression of sugar cane and a little warmth coming from the amber and soft florals plus the magic of the amber green that makes this perfume to be very aromatic in just a short period of time. Yo, fragrance and beautiful goddesses, do not expect this to be all natural. This is basically a synthetic formulation that has this fruity, spicy, woodsy impression. And it also has that caramelly accord that leaves a good scent trail, a little bit sexy and sensual, but that's just it. Don't expect too much. Do not expect it to be a head turner. Never expect to get many compliments on this mug formulation. Although it is woody perfume, but on my skin and in the air, it acts like an woody cologne. This perfume has been with me for a few months now, and dare I say that it didn't pass my expectation when it comes to performance, but it does pass my expectation for a cheapie on the smell DNA itself. 68 sprays. Centrail would be in the first 30 minutes. Projection will be in the first 30 minutes. Longevity on my skin it lasts for like about three to four hours. It extends on close to skin for an additional of two hours. What seasons should you wear an and Luch? Spring, summer, fall. You can even use this on a high heat of summer. You can use this most especially on rainy days and entry fall and autumn seasons, but never on the winter time. The cold wind will just eat the fragrance and it's just gonna cut the life of Anna Abiyad Rouge on the cold air. Occasions would be casual, date scenario, party, but you have to bring this bottle in your bag. We touch, we spray when you're going to attend party or clubbing. And when you're going to your casual errands and even after shower, right after the gym. This is my review of Anna Abiyad Rouge 
from the House of La Pafa, 60 ml body perfume concentration. If you find my review quite interesting and helpful for my returning viewers and first time viewers, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me out with my numbers to grow. And please stay subscribed. And to my returning subscribers and new subscribers, I thank you guys so much for staying subscribed. Let's do this.